I'm just waiting for Colin. Hello, people. Colin might be asleep. Probably. Nah, I I think he's uh, preparing. Um, and it's a process of waking up. I'm gonna get my phone and just watch you on chat only. <laughs> Hey, I want to see a chat at least, if I'm going to hit. <laughs> I mean, I can write him if you guys want. If you want to, yeah. Okay. Jeez, I have lots of people to play. Hey. Okay. He has been written. That, that way I don't see your screen. <laughs> Good English. Um, ah, that would be so. Paris, right? yeah. <laughs> I need to get me a laptop again. My old laptop went. Of course, it was a whole day. It was so lucky. Well, it wasn't a laptop, it was a notebook. Yeah. Although I probably should focus and get me a new, actually new PC. That would be a good investment, regardless. Yeah, unfortunately, that's going to take another fuck. Hmm. Two years. Yeah. Like if I save a hundred dollars. It's going to be too good, for a good one, at least. I'm not saying this wasn't a good one. I, it, it was only about a thousand dollars. It did last me for this long. Or I might find someone who knows how to build a PC and send them the money and have them build it and send it back. There's that. <laughs> I mean, you can just buy the component. Uh, the components and do it yourself. It's not that difficult. I do not trust myself with building things. Oh, okay. You can take things apart. No, no problem. Oh, look, it's another 29. Who would have thought? <laughs> but I cannot put shit together. His rolls are broke. <laughs> He doesn't need to roll a nat 20. Back. Well, by the noise and the reaction of the cat, my oldest brother just arrived. Yeah. Uh, he's, uh, Looks like the he's... cat rolled a, uh, a nat 20 on perception. No, no. I think even somebody who rolled a 1 on this could notice that. My <laughs> brother's been <laughs> OTR. <laughs> my brother's OTR. Basically, cross country trucker. So he has a uh, disadvantage He's... on stealth checks. <laughs> but an advantage on run your ass over. Yes! yes. <laughs> advantage yeah. on run your ass over, choo choo train. Yeah, but... Sounds like he's parking his rig in the driveway right now. <laughs> Wait, is your brother Domino? <laughs> huh? <laughs> That's a joke. I said, is your brother Domino? <laughs> uh, not quite. <laughs> what, is he also so scaly? No. Um... No, no, the, I think right now the only one with scales in my family is me. <laughs> yeah, since my father passed, I'm the only one that gets scaly feet. Uh, okay. Hi. Oh, right. you're looking to be comforted. Come here. Ah, Hi. he's talking about oh. this cat now. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I saw the scales. Duh. 
Oh, I did have my uh, kitty uh, kitty okay. fix this week. Ah, uh, Paro. Ah. Uh. Yes. In fact, I was able to play with one of them. Mm -hmm. Apropos kitty fix. Uh, my kitty came kitty. yesterday on midstream on Friday. Uh, came running through the door into my room. Uh, running away from a paper bag which Kitty yeah, put her head through. It's head through. Yeah. Don't know why he did it. Uh, but Kitty jumped no. on my bed, ripped off the paper handle from the paper bag, and uh, yeah. That well, was it. a perfectly logical explanation why your cat did that. It's a cat. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's not wrong. Yeah. It's not wrong. That's the reason why they do anything. But Kitty is fine. The paperback is not. The paperback is dead. And dripped into I... pieces. But uh, yeah. Oh. It was a first. <laughs> I came in like a. Where? <laughs> King Oh, uh, That was a sudden surprise. Also, I would like to remind uh, today's strategy again. Uh, take the stick and the druid alive. Everyone else is collateral. <laughs> the collateral are right telling you, you to have, <laughs> you, you have not realized by now, Dara is not good with prisoners. <laughs> None of you are. Your track record is am. not that good. I am! You hey. have, like, one. The only one that's really good is not here. Because <laughs> she got poofed by the uh, fog. Kiki? Just saying, in all your campaigns, you've only ever really captured one person. The Once other person it stayed you alive. Managed to get loose. Yeah. I, I mean, we had a goblin, but he didn't prevail. Yeah, the well, wizard was the only one we captured. To, to be fair, Mina did, when it came to capturing, Mina didn't kill the one that was supposed to be captured. I said to die. Yeah, but you did do a warning shot and completely incinerate <laughs> a uh, bandit. Warning <laughs> shot. Uh, uh, the creation. <laughs> that was an experience. <laughs> <laughs> you do not rev you do oh, look, you dust. You're not getting off that easily. <laughs> it was my completely It was literally my first ever attack at D and D. Yep. And it was one of the few that you were able <laughs> to And it was a fatality. Oh and God. it was what? Wasn't it a crit? He critted that. No, I, I just uh, did maximum damage with eight. And that was enough to kill him. Uh, yeah, he uh, uh, That was the same feat, that the same fight that Minna just uh, completely exploded blood all over uh, um, Valnice. Yes. Oh my god. But yeah, uh, stick a druid alive. Uh, Sylvanos would like to have a talk with the druids. Yes, uh, talk. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going Very to question long this. With, with, with vines, a talk using vines and strangulation. The last thing you'll see of them is getting them dragged underground. <laughs> Hey, 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 I, I hey, did oh, not ask yes. what he had planned, but he would just like to have a talk with the druids. <laughs> so. And about the stick, no one will keep it. Give it to me. Aren't we supposed to, like, destroy the stick? Yes. But I would like destroy to destroy the stick. Yes, after I try something out, I would like to oh. check if I can uh, 
establish a connection between the stick and the big bad evil Pfui Pfui Tree. Ja, bei oh, The Paroquets. Ah. Uh, oh, wey. <laughs> by the way, Paroquet, I had the idea to uh, try and roll with Arcane or Nature or Religion, I don't know, and uh, try to feel out with the stick where its main source of power lays. A.K.A. the big bad that. evil tree. You could do that, but you'd have to have the stick to see if you could. Yes. Yeah. If that doesn't work, I would have liked to meditate inside my carriage and Uh, feel the flow of nature and where it's not, well, pure. Yes, touch the force. <laughs> yeah, so to say. Two ideas. Wait. Also, I have two things about which I would like to talk about, but that's uh, after we start the session. <laughs> uh, it's about an undead and about a little... Uh, teeny tiny animal. Where is Colin? Colin! Colin! He's still not uh, online. Is this undead a freaking uh, little cat? What? No. <laughs> no. A teeny tiny animal and an undead. You got me thinking of uh, Sir, Sir Laura. <laughs> Ooh. That's an undead kitty from a game that has a squirrel. It's an, uh, the yeah, line. and the, uh, the one that's riding it is a squirrel that is supposed to be going after the giant acorn or great acorn or whatever. Oh, yep. okay. Play, uh, play, go play Divinity Original Sins too. Uh, I saw Laura. that game multiple times popping up on Steam. But you have to get the Soul Laura DLC and you'll get a squ squirrel riding an undead cat. Yep. Uh, I don't know, what is this game about? Like Baldur's Gate? Kind of like it was ah. well, it's made by the same group that made Baldur's Gate. Actually. Baldur's Gate 3, to be precise. Yeah, Baldur's yep. Gate 3. Oh, okay. Yeah, it was made by Larian Studios. Oh, okay. They also made the original Sins as well, the first one. That one. They made original Sins and original Sins 2. And then Baldur's Gate 3. Yep. Oh, okay. So when you play BG3 you get and prop up the launcher, you'll see those two other games. I, I, I'm kind of bad on... on uh, a, I have a bad feel on that one because of something else I won't discuss. Zeke knows why, though. We had a monkskin. As he called it, I believe. Uh, someone who wanted to be a munchkin. <laughs> yeah. What is, is a munchkin? Somebody who wants to be able to do anything and everything without ever failing. Yeah. Ah! It's a fine thing. You, you know the uh, talent glass cannon, right, Pero? Yes. He took that and was also a melee fighter. Meaning, he was a rogue of sorts. <laughs> yep, and one of the very first fights we got into was it was a scarecrow with a constant aura of fear. Oh, lovely. Yeah, meaning his yeah. little armor that he had was not jack him. shit. Because glass can. Now for EL, what it, in Divinity Original Sin 2, there's this uh, trait called glass cannon. It basically, basically means your armor does not protect you against special effects, such as fear, uh, 
catch you on fire, freezing, things like that. Bewitching. Because in Divinity Original Sin, armor not only protected you, reduced the damage you took, but it also could protect you. Because there's physical and magical damage. Uh, mm -hmm. Both have a rating that they that the enemy has to get through before they can harm you with a physical or magical effect. But yes. glass cannon lets those things go right through. Anything now, that has a status we... effect will go right yeah. through. Now, okay. I think all glass. What glass cannon did was what like maximized his uh, AP. Oh. Well, yeah, basically allows you to make as many actions in a turn as possible. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Yep, that's what it did. But... So, it's not a bad ability if you know how to play it right. Most notably, don't be a up close... Don't be a melee character. Because... As a melee character, you're right up in, uh, in the face of things that are launching spells at you or trying to attack you. And many of those, and some of them may have aura, which yeah. are continuous aura effects. I mean, anything spell-wise that you have isn't going to negate them. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. If you play it, you'd, uh, it'd be easier to understand. Yeah, it would be. But if given the choice, I'd say get Baldur's Gate 3 over Divinity Original Sin 2. Yes. I heard that apparently Baldur's Gate 3 is a alright game. Yeah, yeah. it's, it's alright. They got some interesting concepts in it, like uh, initiative in Baldur's Gate 3 is done with a die 4 instead of a die 20. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Why? I don't know. Uh, and some okay. of the spells are treated, like, the long stride is treated as a ritual spell in that instead of what it is. Some spells and abilities are done differently. I'm, in fact, I think in Baldur's Gate, the Paladins actually start off with a uh, thing. Oath. Instead of waiting till level three. Yeah. Yeah. The only ones that don't follow that is the Fighter, the Rogue, the Bard. Um, the Druid waits to level 2, um, as it should be. And the Monk, I believe, also waited as well, to level 2 or 3. And same with Ranger. It's, it's just messed up. It's, I guess. I mean, don't play it just because you want to have a D&D &D experience. Play it for the storyline, mostly. Yeah. And, and for fun. For fun? Never. It'd be fun. <laughs> Although, another game we've kind of been having fun with is one called Celeste, Crown of the Magister. Uh, but a lot of the last from that is coming from the effects of a mod we're using. Yes. Because what it does is it has it in a conversation, whoever has the higher skill roll, necessary skill roll needed for it, will talk. And what's happening is sometimes and... one of the characters will... In this recent run we're doing of it, uh, Shadow Kitty's playing a fairy, you know, a small character. Mm -hmm. I'm controlling two giant, two, you know, big characters. <laughs> I think Saren's in the middle. But with the mod in you, sometimes Shadow Kitty's character will be inside the, bar the barbarian I'm controlling, and so it looks like the barbarian's uh, gooch is talking. Yeah. Just a muffled. 
It's oh. just the camera's focused on the uh, on the crotch, crotch of and it's Mbappe. talking. And another another funny instance of this mod doing something funky is another the other character I'm controlling, the rogue, talks to herself. <laughs> has an actual conversation with herself. Hey, do you see that over there? Yes, yes, I do. What the hell? <laughs> what the god of like all this? <laughs> yes, <laughs> that's exactly what, what happens. <laughs> what turn one thing? character schizophrenic. But oh, that's boy. the thing. This mod that, that, that thing is says it may cause conflicts in Well, it may cause game. bugs. <laughs> When using I, this I, number. <laughs> I can't. It's, uh, don't get me wrong. it's funny as hell, though, but I'm kind of not liking it because it kind of, I don't know, breaks up the. It definitely makes definitely makes it hard to take it serious. Uh, yeah, <laughs> well, and it's, and, then, and besides that, anything outside, it's not always a serious game. I mean, the tone of it has serious, but some of the actions outside of that mod. That particular one, still funny as hell though. Yeah. But uh, uh, um, people, did something happen to the type just now? What? Uh, wasn't it like three o'clock or something? Not for me. Did the time Not just turn one hour back? Uh, we've actually almost been here for, uh, it's almost, almost been an hour since the, uh, ping went out. Uh, time change doesn't happen till November 3rd. Hmm. Uh, so... I yeah, thought it was supposed to be 3 o'clock 22 now. Well, for me. Why is it 2? What? Wait. I don't know. Oh. Yeah. You're just one held, aren't you now? Alrighty. Till Colin shows up, you guys are all set to go. Yep. I, By the way, Colin like... is uh, online on Discord. Yep. Yes. Uh. Even Discord tells me. Yo, uh, Parroquet, your uh, boobles uh, got out for, for me at 2 o'clock 45, yes? Now, my blab yeah. that I typed into the chat uh, came out at 2 o'clock 22. I think the time changed for me here just now. You must have an earlier time change. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think right the time changed for go. me. <laughs> I gotta go kick a dog. <laughs> well, that was confusing. Alright. Yes. It's, uh, it's, it shows 7.5 p.m. for me on when he did that, and it shows 8.22 on my end. Suddenly I did a little time travel. Hmm. You went back an hour. Yes, it was confusing because I, I, I was sure that at 2 o'clock more or less, I started watching Midnight Paprika stream. Well, after two o'clock, and then again. Now it's after two o'clock again. Hmm. Anyways, <laughs> you must have an early time change because we yeah. don't do daylight like, savings time until uh, November third. Yeah. Yeah, yep. I, I don't know. Yeah, no Time change that, doesn't make sense at all. No, not really. No, you push it forth, just, then you push it back. Is, do you, will you be going back in uh, November 3rd, or do your state doesn't do that? Uh, I think if... No, 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 not you, Rivali. Oh, so, okay. Oops. Fair up. I believe we will. Okay. Wait, let me check my mobile phone. 
Yep. Yeah, same time. I think the time changed for me just now. Oh. Wait, let me check my... Yes. Yeah, I got a time change. My digital watch is showing uh, one hour later. Huh. Lol. Oh, okay. Ha, huh. interesting. Okay. Uh, Colin is currently uh, online on Discord. I think he is uh, waking up just now or something. I mean, is this what status says? Uh, do not disturb me. It's a red <laughs> icon. But it is red now. So, yeah, maybe five more minutes, ten more minutes, depending on what he's doing. Well, I you see, you're away. right. You do st go, your daylight savings time does change. Today, tonight, hmm. tomorrow. Weird. Well, right now. It changes <laughs> right now. <laughs> It already has changed. Because it says from March 31st and October 27th, which it's already. So yeah, you did go back. Yeah, that was confusing. Your, 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 your uh, daylight savings time, or whatever you want to call it, central summer time or whatever, is about a few days ahead of ours. A week ahead of ours, I should say. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. Did any of you people do something in the one hour downtime? Hmm. Way. I mean, I was digging. Then I was meditating and had my carriage for reasons. Okay. Now. I mean, you've been appeasing yeah. your god so far and it's worked out. Might as well keep her going. Yes, exactly. I, I guess I'm going to. I was doing uh, shovel work, I was digging holes. For an eventual fight. If the stealth doesn't We're work out. We're trying to avoid that fight. Which depends on Zeeth. Yes. Yep. Yeah. Uh, I would like to, I guess, some sort of kind of starting, or are we still waiting? We can go ahead and start. Xana wants to make a prayer. <gasps> okay. A prayer to the, first of all, if she can, to the Raven Queen. Aww. A prayer for guidance. Will you? So, Will I'll throw out my religion check. I mean, if you want, I can give you a hand or two. That's up to you. And the carriage? You want to help someone pray to another god? A and the brochure to Sylvanus? <laughs> no, what is a flyer? To I can give god. you a flower a flyer about Sylvanus. <laughs> or a handout, whatever you call it in English. A pamphlet? Yeah. Uh, a pamphlet. She's not going to be for Sylvanus. Sylvanus. Why not? She's literally <laughs> everywhere. Yeah. Yes, but here's the thing. She's a paid. She's already got a patron. That's the Raven Queen. So she what? She has a boon called the Raven that was given to her by the Raven Queen. Um, oh, okay. So you are take the Raven Queen is basically in of her uh, most of her life now. Well, okay. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> All right, give me your religion check. Ah, uh, that's a fucking tail. Since would you, you like actually? Uh... Go ahead, Revali. Would you like to change religion now? <laughs> now. All right. Oh. So you are unfortunately not actually taking an oath to any god. So it's just a random prayer, really. 
Yes. Silvanus, answer! Let's go, boy! Nope. Ah. Oh. Oh, damn it. Okay. Uh, Alrighty. Isn't that what are you one... going to do then, Garrett? Oh. Uh, I'm sneaking up to the house. Give me three sneak checks. Okay, while well, he's doing that. Uh, in the tower, minus uh, time in the carriage, H how many holes was I able to dig? And in that hour, you were able to dig about three. Nice. I'll take it. Hmm. Let's see if that one roll is what does you in. Hi. People in chat, uh, if you don't remember what is happening, uh, I am digging a hole for the uh, uh, for the case if uh, we have to fight 30 you actually enemies do, you actually do manage to get to the winery without being seen <sighs> just enough I would like to do a prayer for Starrett right. oh. you guys are all here just in case you need to be moved but, Derek, you'll be coming yep, up from the front right about here. Okay. Uh, did you change the map? Yes. What? Wait. Okay, the browser just didn't care. Never mind. I would like to pray for Derrit. Alright. Go ahead. For his success and stealthiness for this mission. For this holy mission, may I mention. More or less. <laughs> because of the stick. Uh, religion. Here we go for Derrit. 18. Yep. 23. That will definitely help. For this moment, Silvanus is with you. Give me just a second. I have a sound pad that I put aside just for Derek. Shouldn't be. None of this is. Huh? Dum 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 dum. Why does it say secret agents? <laughs> Nobody really ever knows I'm there. That's a proper <laughs> secret agent. Yes. Okay, so. Alrighty, it's all up to you now, secret agent. Yep. Okay. I mean, this Any is why he's here, isn't it? I can peer through. You can see that the house itself is two-story, and you see in the building right ahead of you where the two sliding doors are, there are two windows, but they're all on the second floor. Okay. I've currently got a set of claws in my hand. <laughs> Guess somebody doesn't want me to move it. There we go. Oh, good luck. Anyways, um, let's see. Well, I guess I could fly up to the window. Try and take a peek at it, through it. You're gonna fly up to the second story window? Yeah. 
That would be this one right here. Put okay. you on the upper floor. You're just a bat hanging onto the window right now. Nothing well, unusual, Boania. I don't know. Probably should use the bat form. Smaller and harder to see. And who you see? Let me bring him up. You see a druid who is peering down into the loading dock. Okay. He's seemingly just standing guard as of right now. Alright. He doesn't have a wicked looking staff, does he? He does have a wooden staff, but... Just looks like a plain one? Yep. Okay, so probably not the one I'm looking for. Uh, this will, is this the window down here? Yep. I'll look through that one. You see what looks to be a bedroom. This looks like a master bedroom. There's a four-poster bed in it. Okay. Is it a closed window or is it? Closed window. Okay. I guess I'll look through this one. That one is open. And it looks like a dining room. Uh, the two back there, they were both closed, right? Yep. Okay. So I will flap my way into here. Stick into the ceiling. Ready? Okay. Doors all closed? All doors are closed. It's a fairly decent looking kitchen. There's a rectangular table with air chairs, an L-shaped cupboard, and a floor-to-ceiling closed pantry with a small iron stove. This little uh, area right here would be the pantry. So there's a small closed-off door there. Okay. But it is ajar. Alright. Uh, let's see, I'll fly over here and listen to the door. Give me a perception check with advantage since you are a bat right now. Yo, Batias. 21. 
You hear no noise on the other side of this door. Okay. I just wanna double check something. Well, I guess this is where I'll have to change back so I can open the door. Certainly hell. <laughs> you could try and open it as a bat, but you going through this door then? Yeah. Alright. Maintaining stealth. Alright, I will follow your previous stealth roll until you are actually in near enemies. Okay. Okay. This door here is not locked? Nope. Ah. Now the trickery. To try and squeeze through. That alerted guy over there. You go on another stealth roll for this? Yep. Uh, net 20. <laughs> wow! Sure, why not? Alrighty. I think I can hear Paris start right now. <laughs> I mean, you sent the right guy. Yeah. But and I played. Kind of feel the whole fucking hell. Yep. <laughs> I knew what I was getting into when he was sent out. As for, for all intents and purposes, the druid does not even know you exist right now. Okay. Careful to come up behind him. Oh, times like these, I probably should have gone for Assassin. <laughs> I mean, you're doing pretty good for it. Yep. Use the Dagger of Venom. Activate Venom. 17. That is a hit. Okay. Uh, he'll need to make a con 15 save. He has failed. By okay, five, so more than five. He's poisoned. Okay, so let me see. Let's roll the dagger damage. Make attack, and now the poison damage. For a total of 34 points of damage. He is dead. Congratulations, Mr. Assassin. He is sleeping. Okay. <laughs> uh, time to check the body. Give me one sec here. There you are. You're gonna check his body then? Yep. You want investigation or perception? Give me an investigation since you're looking right on him. Uh, well, passive is a 19. Passive investigation yeah. is 19? And let me see here. You find a component pouch filled with various bits and bobs of moss, twigs, everything a druid would need to cast their spells and rituals. There's not much else really on him besides his clothing, his staff, and his pouch.
Okay. We'll take the staff just in case. Okay, let's see... Nothing else up in this area? Nope, just the winch that'll go down, which you can safely do that'll go to a cart, from what you can see. And I will do this, since you can actually see down there. So it looks like the loading area for all the barrels and such of wine. Does it look like there's anything down there? Mm, as far as you can tell, there's not a whole lot besides the cart itself. All right. You can see that there are three barrels on the wagon that hold purple grape mash number three alcohol. And that the south door down below has been forced open, it looks like, and is hanging in a jar. Oh, downstairs? Downstairs, yep. Okay. Well, I'll get to that in a moment. Okay, I'm going to listen to this door. You hear... No noise. I'm assuming you're going off of your passive stuff? Yeah, for roll for it. Oh, let's see. Yeah, yeah, the passive is one better. It wouldn't make right. much difference. Ready? Okay. There's oh, no noise, but you open. hear hmm? a faint voice as if it's far away. Coming from the other side of the door? Yep, it sounds far away, like it's on the other side of the room. Okay, I will carefully open the door. They're gonna be on the second floor here. Oh. you'll see a bunch of vats. At the far end, give me another stealth check. <laughs> the music suddenly. <laughs> God damn. Another nat 20. Sylvanus, pleasant be the sea. Sylvanus said fuck you to being seen, apparently. Uh-huh. So. Alrighty. And since you are up there looking down, you would see this area down here. Ah, wrong button. Trying to manage multiple levels at once. Yep. You can see some ravens in the rafters hanging in between the balconies, but they're just staring at you for the moment. Oh! Can smell the rich smell of fermenting wine. Nothing else within the room? Mm-mm. Just the 
four vats as well as the druid at the far end that seems to be pouring something into the vats. There you are. What you can see, it looks like a cask of thick syrup. Dude, let me get this changed where... There we go. Uh, 13. Actually, wait a minute. Twenty-two. There we go. All right, that's a hit. One does not get the sneak attack. Additional four. Total damage. Let's see. Total damage is. Pull down, please. Eight, nine is seventeen. Uh, twenty-one. Damn. Oh. Nice. This man is uh, slowly deleting uh, Druid. Yes, Druid deletion has begun. I would call it holy natural selection. Okay, 20 on the investigation check to check this body. Okay. Uh, and we'll roll. You find... The same thing as before, but this one was wearing an antler headdress that's decorated with dried flowers. Oh. Oh, man. Okay, time to take a listen at this door. Give me a perception. Uh, 20. You hear nothing from this door. Okay, I will carefully open it and try... This one is locked. Oh. Well then. I believe... will be... Okay, so I add five to it. Let's see, what is it? Let's see. He's that's six out of five, so that's a twenty-seven to unlock it. It's unlocked. And time to carefully go through. Give me another stealth check. Oop. Oh, okay, let's okay. Okay. Twenty three. Alrighty, you are still hidden. I think I see a little 
plant in there. <laughs> From what little you can see of that room, it looks like there's a printing press in the far back. All right. Then I'm guessing that's some sort of a early looking plant creature. Mm -hmm. Nothing down the hallway. There you go. I get right here. Is there anything else in the room I can see? Ah. You can see that there's two of these vine like creatures, but the druid in the back is rooting through the contents of a cabinet and haphazardly tossing them onto the floor behind her. Uh, it's a woman. Any any gnarly staff in sight? Not that you can see. Okay, so I'm gonna hold off on doing that because those odds are not in my favor. I will take a listen at this door. Passive perception or roll? Uh, roll. You hear nothing. All right, is it locked? That one is. Okay, let's see. Uh, 20. The door unlocks. I'll carefully open it. This looks like some sleeping quarters. There's some foot lockers and two pairs of bunk beds. Nobody sleeping in any of them? Nope. The entire family has been kicked out of their own home, so they're all out and about. No, oh, you never know. A druid might have been taking a nap. True. Okay, I will listen at this one. Oh. Passive is an 18, so yeah, that's a bit better. There's no noise coming from this room. Is the door locked? This one is unlocked. Carefully open it. Same thing as before, a pair of bunk beds and some foot lockers. Nobody sleeping in them? Nope. Okay. God, I want to loot so bad, but... <laughs> <laughs> Me too. <laughs> <laughs> so is the cleric. Go down uh, these stairs. Yes, why not? Those stairs will take you right over here. He's collecting the stuff from the corpses. The I'm collecting everything else. Yeah, but some of that stuff might belong to the living people here. I mean, I don't have use for human teeth. <laughs> this will go down to here. I have the Hobbit vibes. <laughs> Okay. From what you can tell, this seems to be barrel storage, since there's rows of newly made barrels filled in the room. Okay, nothing in the room besides barrels and myself? Not that you can see. Okay. That's that one room. Take a listen here. Uh, 20. You hear no noise. Or is locked, or... This one is locked. Okay. 
Uh, 16. It is now unlocked. Alright, carefully open them. Open sesame. <laughs> As you look in, you can see strips of iron and wood lying meat piles on the floor. It looks like a workshop where new barrels are made. There's tools lining the walls and two workbenches. Alright. And that leads outside, so... Let's see. Go back to here. Are these doors locked? They are unlocked. Yeah. Just in case. Uh, 25. You can hear the sound of skittering. Through a small crack in the door, you can see a twig blight go up to a hole in this vat and squeeze into it. And you hear some more skittering and then silence. This door locked? That one is unlocked. Okay, go through here. Okay. Now, can I see into the... T the... No, that looks like it's sealed. That one is sealed. Okay, but that's the one they're hiding in. Mm -hmm. If you were to look down into the cask itself from the top you could probably see but I'd need you to make me a stealth check alright uh 22 okay now give me a perception check Twenty six. You see within the cask around oh, 20 to 25 twig blights. You can't make out a certain amount of numbers considering they're all clumped together, but the cask itself is filled with them. Oh. Yeah. That's a Valus thing. <laughs> I'll make my way back over towards here and go this way. Head on down this tower. You're in the good old spiral staircase. Yeah. Oh. oh, appears there's a basement. Hmm. Would you like to head down? May as well. Oh, that's not the whole map. Okay, that was sneak parrot. Let me see. 
As you come down to the basement, you see wooden pillars and beams supporting the 10 foot high ceiling of this ice cold cellar. In front of you, at least in your section that you see, there is an eight foot tall partition that doubles as a wine rack. This one, however, is empty. Okay. Do I see or hear anything? Give me a perception check. Uh, oh, passive is an 18. You hear some shuffling further from the eastern part of the cellar, but nothing from your end. Okay. A 29 on stealth here. All right. They make my way through here. What's your passive perception? Uh, 18. You can see a multitude of beings moving behind the wine rack in front of you that actually is filled up quite nicely with bottles. Does it look like they're close towards me or the other side? Eedy whip. Considering what you know of the layout here. Does it look like they're holding you any kind of gnarly staff? Give me a perception check. Uh, let's see, we'll do passive, which is 18. You can see that they are holding a staff that looks blackened and twisted. Different oh. from the ones you've seen before. Is this wine rack secure? Really? It looks it's like just sort of, It's just sitting on the floor. Oh no, an accident. <laughs> uh, we'll see. I'm going to try and push it over. Give me a strength check. Not decent. And I will see about... Can I get a staff underneath it to use it as a leverage? You could. Give me another stealth check. Twenty-eight. You are unseen. <laughs> unseen! Okay, so strength check. Oof. That's an easy head we'll see. to roll still. Oof. And since you went ahead with leverage, do another roll. Okay. That's a bit better. 13. You managed to knock the partition over. Oh, it's large. It's an 8 feet tall on a 10 feet oh. ceiling. 
I thought the only thing to hold might get like squished. With a loud crash, all these wine bottles have now dropped all around, soaking the area. But Is he really dead? The other two needle blights, however, are going to be investigating. Give me another stealth check if you'd like. Alright. Because you are in darkness, so you technically get advantage. 23. Give me one more stealth check. On T7. <laughs> this needle blade doesn't notice anything, however, this one has stopped and is looking around in your direction. It hasn't noticed you yet, but it seems to have noticed something. Alright. Uh, the druid's corpse. Is this... Uh, could I... Would I be able to s stab through the rack and try and break the core of that staff? You could. Give me an attack roll at disadvantage since you're going through wreckage, essentially. Okay. Uh, 11. That is a hit. Roll for damage. Okay, 7 points. And since it's a staff, I don't think it needs to worry about poison. However, you do manage to break the staff considering it was cracked from the partition landing on it earlier. Okay. Give me one moment here. W14B. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Did I think that wasn't supposed to be there? No. <laughs> okay. no wait, wait, wait. I... <laughs> oh, There's okay. no secret code here for you to play with Secret Agent. <laughs> Do not mind the man behind the curtain. Oh boy. Give me da, 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 a Constitution saving throw. I was wondering what's that potion. Twenty. Jesus. As you, you destroy the staff, as you destroy the staff, a terrible, inhuman scream can be heard reverberating out through the mansion outside. The blights in front of you start immediately to crumble, wither, and die. And do we see something happen outside? I uh, bet you, you heard something outside. Yeah. Is this thing screamed loud enough for you to hear it way out there? It's like, what? Okay, what was that? You see, all the twig blights outside that you can spotted before are slowly crumbling and withering away. All the sort Um... Uh, what check would it be for uh, a check to recognize that the staff was broken or something? That would be an Arcana. Then I want to do an Arcana check. <gasps> he did that? it! He broke the staff! That is a 21. 
you recognize that whatever it was that was controlling the blights, more than likely the staff er mentioned earlier by Sylvanas to his loyal priest, has Me. more than likely been destroyed. It is broke. Right. Definitely broke. So it looks like something was broken. Maybe that was that staff you were talking about. <gasps> Would you like to uh, search the rest of the druid's corpse? Did it? Uh, yeah, I'll give it a try. Careful right. of the glass. 19. Oh, that's my passive, too. <laughs> you managed to find, besides the regular stuff, a herbalism kit. Oh. Okay. It was just like me. Now, I mean, so he probably drew some it. attention. It was an yep. accident. Don't worry. Uh... The thing he fell, the staff broke. What do I see in here? This is a smooth ramp that you can tell would probably go up near where the cart was, since this looks like where barrels get rolled up to be loaded. Ah. Okay. I'm gonna, As I saw them, I'm just going to go ahead and go up towards the uh, thing. Uh, you may. Wait, Sanafia, little... don't go. You'll be right over here. Thing, it's Take me with you. For me to try and get more people in here. Okay, where are you trying to enter from, Xanafia? I'm actually going to go right here. Can I follow her? As you walk in, you uh, see something red dripping from up above. And you see what looks to be a druid hanging from the rafters. His dead, pallid face staring at you as he bleeds out to the ground below. I think I know who's been through here. <laughs> Can I follow her? You may. Okay. Then Venom, I stick with the others. Clunk, 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 clunk. Hello. Quiet. Softly walk, don't run. <laughs> Is that wine he really tripping? Do <laughs> he do It doesn't have to run, though. No, I was uh, voicing the steps. <laughs> Is that wine tripping? Oh, uh, no. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I think I That's know who body. was here. Is that such I'm going to go look in. Do I just, well, I wouldn't see that. I'm like, hmm. Oh no, it's a dead body. <laughs> anyway, so I start blasting. Uh, I would like to roll for stealth. You you may. You'd like to roll Twice. For <laughs> I got a four. Say, yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> there, you would easily be able to see them entering now. Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. uh, looks like he's been took care of some of these. Looks like it. Oh, I am going to invest. Can I investigate if these barrels have been tampered? You may. Well, check yeah, right. that. As you uh, walk through the main area, you can see that druid that was rooting through the cabinet with the two vine blights is now checking over the corpse of their friend that you left up top. Uh, they are on high alert. What check would that be? Investigation? Mm-hmm. Yep. <laughs> Do you need help? Uh, can I? Uh, I have passive investigation of 10. I'll use that. I would like to help Xanafia. And another have... 20! It's the third 20 today, damn it. Oh, uh, when you got advantage, it does happen a bit more often. Oh, yeah. So I'll use my passive investigation. Oh, what's your passive? 10. You see that these barrels are still sealed. I would like to use my help action. I go ahead if you want to roll. Uh, what do I roll to help? Investigation. Uh -huh. All right, Derek, uh, what you doing? Investigation. 
another Adventure! Oh my god! Adventure! There you go. From uh, uh, what you can that's it. Today. From what you can tell, Ravale. Yes. There's nothing wrong with these barrels, at least. They're still sealed. There's no odd smells, and there's no punctures all over the barrel. Nothing to would say that they've been tampered with in any way, shape, or form. Ah, but yes. But you would know you'd more than likely need to talk with the family themselves. Just to make mm. sure. Ah, yes. I can Wrong tell I'm a wine connoisseur, apparently. They have failed the constitution save. Oh, let's see. Maybe she's a commander. She had two bodyguards. Yeah, in there. We don't see you. How much damage? 25. They damage. are... Poisoned. And poisoned. Do we go they for the inn? It's enough dead. here. Okay. Let's just wait here until he comes back. Until we get a confirmation from a scout. Oh, okay. Then I guess I'll wait uh, around the uh, corner. 19 on the passive investigation on her body. <laughs> really? <laughs> hey, mission successful. You find some gillyweed. Huh. What? Give me a nature check it to see if you know what this does. Hey, what are you doing? Quit knocking things off. You don't need to knock that off. Knock that um, off, knocking that off. 29, not 20. Wow. You know the gillyweed, once consumed, will allow you to breathe underwater for around an hour. Oh, wow. Mm. Ah, gilly. Okay, yeah, gills. Oh. Totally not from uh, Harry Potter. <laughs> nope. Yeah, uh, no. No, definitely <laughs> no. Okay. No, since they seem to be having downstairs covered. Time to get my loot on. <laughs> Fair enough. Nope. 23. You see that there's a chest, but the cabinet that the druid was searching for simply has a key hanging on a loop. Could be useful. Anything, but like, uh, hmm? like before, this is a printing press where it seems all the labels for the wine is made. Uh, is the uh, chest anyway locked? It is. Okay, I'm going to check it for traps. Let's see. There are. Du, du, du. Is that your investigation check? Uh, let me see. Investigate. Yeah, I got a 23 on the investigation. All right. As far as you can tell, there's no traps on it whatsoever. And does this key unlock it? No. Okay. Uh, 24 to, for, uh, to pick the lock. It is unlocked. Hey, anything inside of it? You can see some documentation. Let me bring it up here. <clears throat> Mostly documentation talking about who it is that they deliver to. Okay. I'm going to tell Eel to stay here. I'm going to go in further. Okay. Yeah. 
What is the password? Oh, okay. Goodbye. Uh -huh. Let's see. I'm gonna walk in here. Back in the foot lockers. Yep. Do the ravens not do anything? None of them are actually locked. These seems to be the children's room. There's oh. a toy of a wooden rocking horse, except the horse is black with wild eyes and has pointed orange flame on its male tail and hooves. Carved into this wooden nightmare is the name Bucephalus. And in the smaller lettering, the slogan is no fun is no blinsky. There's some clothing and personal belongings, but nothing of real value. Oh, okay. On to the next one. Oh, ah, I thought last time that the daughter said or commented on the toy that it's not fun because it's not from Blinsky. Yes, the slogan itself is, is no fun, is no Blinsky. Oh. If it's not fun, it's not Blinsky's. Uh, I, I, I thought that the daughter disliked her toy, her doll that the mother gave her. <laughs> oh, but okay. The same thing here, except there's a small plush that looks like a certain vampire you know. It's a little plush of Strahd himself. Ha! Huh. I mean, oh, but, yeah. huh? <laughs> now we just need to find a voodoo. Now we just need to find a voodoo practitioner. Anyway, so nothing of value there. Plot with Strat is not so that bad after the all. Room. The master bedroom. Locked? This one is not. Okay. Me and the ravens are just looking at each other. Oh, look, you're kin. <laughs> Don't you see? Well, room, like... I probably would have more of a kinship with ravens. In this room is the four-poster bed, but since you're actually inside the room, you can tell its headboard is carved in the likeness of a giant raven. It's a soft black rug on the floor between the bed and the door. In the corners of the south wall stand two slender wardrobes the tapestry of a church hanging on the wall between them. Beneath this tapestry sits a handsomely carved rocking cradle. Under the window in which you peered is a plain desk and chair. There's also a chest and a freestanding mirror. Oh, the chest right. itself is in the top right corner there. I'm surprised that I don't do anything. This chest is locked. And unfortunately... This seems to be a rather strange looking key hole on it. Doesn't seem like your lock picks will work on this. What about the key that I found? Nope, that one doesn't work. Okay. So I can take a look around the room? You need the mace? <laughs> can I hold out my hand to the raven? Can... You can. Give me an animal handling check. And with an 18, you notice that on the desk itself Ow. is another record revealing most of their shipments to locations. There's delivery to the Blood of the Vine Tavern in the village of Barovia, the Blue Water Inn in the town of Valaki, one to Kresk, and one that says Vistani. And the okay. raven just looks at you and shuffles on the rafter it's standing in and just cocks its head at you. Nothing else of note in the room? Uh, you notice something off about the bed itself. Give me an investigation check. 17? You notice that one of the bed posts is loose. The knob on it, at least. I'll give it a... Oh. Uh-oh. Does it twist, or does it just move? It twists off. There's a compartment and a key inside that matches the strange keyhole you saw on the chest. Ooh. The key itself 
seems to look like a raven in flight. It's intricately carved. Okay, here we go. I'll give it a try. As you open the chest, you find some money. There's 50 gold pieces. 270 electrum pieces. Wow. And 350 silver pieces. I think he just found the dungeon chest. Well, this is probably the family's fortune. Yep. Worth. I mean, this is their master bedroom. Yep. Where the old man himself sleeps. Nothing else of note inside the chest? Would you like to give me another perception check? Perception... 25. You notice there's a secret compartment in the lid. Would you like to open it? Yep. There's a gold locket and a pouch. What's in the pouch? There's five gemstones. You could say they're roughly around 50 gold pieces each. Uh, does the locket easily open? It does. Okay. Inside is a painted portrait of two people. Davian Martikov, looking much younger from what you can see, with a woman that you didn't see in the group outside the winery hiding with the rest of the family. It does flip open and there's some names on it. Uh... Yes. You may be muted. I am? Saren said you... you hey, you're muted, I believe. On, On stream? stream? On stream, yeah. Oh, I'm not muted. Is it not picking up my mic? What is going on with the mic? Uh, Give me one sec here. Hello, Saren. Um... Properties? No. Is it going by a different mic? I don't think it's going by any mic, is the thing. Oh my god! What the fuck? <laughs> what the hell? Want me one to send you the audio uh, again? I got about, uh... I got about uh, 20 seconds really of fine. ads before I can tell if I hear anything. Uh... What is it using for my mic? You heard my webcam mic? What the fuck? What is OBS doing? I swear to god. Was there a Windows update in the last days? Might be just yeah. something stupid. <laughs> yeah, I'm not hearing you at all on your stream. What in the fuck? Give me one sec here. So I gotta change some stuff around for that. Not a problem. OBS is very drunk. <laughs> it's very stupid. <laughs> um, trying to remember where it is. I go to fix this shit. Dumb question, but no mutes target. <gasps> Has Powercat become a mute? Yes. Oh look, he's now playing VR chat. How hmm. people have changed. Where the hell? There. Blech. There we go. Now I can see my levels on there moving up and down. What is with my system switching over to the webcam mic? I don't even have that plugged in, really. I have that, like, so far away from me. Oh, well. It does just... that to mine sometimes. Yeah, I'll suffer through it. Oh, well. But yes. On the back of the locket you just found, it says Davian and Angelica Martikov. 
Okay, you know what? I am going... I, f I feel <laughs> like being nice to these people. I'm going to take 70 Electrum, 50 Silver, and the Bag of Gems. Okay. I feel like being nice still robs them. <laughs> um... Okay, are neutral, okay, are good. I knew it. <laughs> he is from the IRS. <laughs> okay. That's why he's suspicious. Don't bring, that, don't bring them into this. You don't that, need them in there. That is if you say the why IRS is named, they'll hear us. I will close that the... is why he was so suspiciously approaching us in Pandelva out of nowhere. <laughs> he tracked Fixed us down. Door, so it's not so noticeable. Alright. And make my way out. Is it the small baby bed? I'm not hearing any more screaming uh, or hollering. Zana is still chilling with the ravens. I'm, I'm still chilling outside. We're not outside. The ravens are in the, uh, brewing pot. I'm surprised the ravens don't do anything. I thought they are like a alarm system. They're just void. staring at you. They're staring they're at me. Sta you see that they're staring at Derrett too, because they apparently can't. They can see him. They have true <laughs> vision. I see them staring at something. But I don't know who it is. Doors. Okay. It's a ghost. I wonder how Markers is doing. And the Gather. This and area right here seems to be storage. There are some shells with stained wooden sandals with oversized soles. But the doors are open and leads outside into the rain. Okay. These double doors are locked. Okay. Here we go again. Say the key you have might work. Oh, yeah, we'll give that a try. It unlocks to the veranda. <clears throat> to the outside veranda. Oh. See a door open. That's about it. Yep. <laughs> it's a ghost. You uh, see outside are the vats where they used to uh, crush the grapes and such. Okay, no... No druids out here? Nope. None that you see. Okay. No druid with a strange looking stick. So, have you finished investigating down here? I haven't checked. Oh, hello there. Since I'm guessing he said something to me, he kind of revealed yeah. himself. He just automatically responds and goes, wait a minute. <laughs> Who goes there? Yeah. Only places I have investigated was a, what looked to be a little shed outside. A room in have the back. Have you banner. checked this room over here? No. And one that's outside and off the side of where the carriage is at. I want to take a listen here. <sighs> Alrighty. I want to use passive. <laughs> that team okay. is passive, though. You hear was... nothing on the other side of this door. Would you like to open it? Is it locked? Nope. I I carefully open it. You see a glass blower's workshop. Hmm. There's wine bottles are manufactured, as evidenced by the tools. There's a wooden rack full of freshly blown glass bottles along the south wall. Oh, the hearth built into the southwest corner and a barrel of sand standing next to it. The staircase that ascends underground between it and the racks of bottles stands a barred door. Hmm. They have a whole factory here. Interesting. They kind of have to be self-sufficient. So this cool. staircase going down. Reminds yeah. me of my temple. Hmm. I wouldn't worry about what's down there. Alright, then. It's a mess. 
<laughs> All right. I say we go catch up with uh, Rivale. He's out yeah. Two more places really left to check. Mm -hmm. Only one of them might be of Hello, concern. Is this big old one What's the status? The okay. The eastern door over here. Enough, yeah? What? What's the status? What's going on? Are you opening the doors? Uh, I couldn't be too. Well, you hear anything on the other side of them. There's not much. You can hear the sound of heavy feet tramping about. Is David okay? Okay. Yes, as far as I know. Okay, what, what's I he doing? Ah. They you can see two draft horses staring at you as you open the door, calmly sitting in their stable with full hay and water. Wow. Well, at least they're fine. Close the doors. Uh, do I hear the doors open? No. Okay, never mind. It, it is still raining outside, so there's still some noise interference. Which, now that I say that, I should probably swap out of secret agent since he's fucking murdered everybody. <laughs> la, 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 la. I hate when I get an eyelash stuck in my eye. And report to the family. We and should as probably far head as I know, out. the druids Wait. have been cleared. Xenophia, where are you going? Did you find the stick? Uh, where? I think that thing's broken. Yeah, where is it? And where's the druid? Is he dead? I didn't go that far. You can uh, ask the scout. Also, we'll make sure to report that it looks like they were pouring. I am heading back like inside. I have to find the, the stick. No, get, no, you dare not get into God's way. Sanafia. <laughs> I'm warning you. Are you... <laughs> Are you claiming yourself to be God now? No, I'm talking about Sylvanus. Do not mess, mess with Sylvanus, please. <laughs> Alright. Davian is more than happy to pull his family out oh. of the wet and cold forest back into their own home. How do the ravens react to me? I didn't know there are ravens. They're just staring at you. Oh, okay. Give me time to explore, people. Come on. <laughs> I don't I know where to go. Can I go in here? You can. I would like to go down. I'll grab the pieces of the stick. Tap 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 tap. Uh, where do I come out? Or come in? Look down at the bottom. See those stairs. Tap 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 tap. I would like to take a look at the door. It is unlocked, from what you can tell. Is it trapped? Give me an investigation check. What is it? <laughs> oh, F1. Be <laughs> fine. Okay, I would like... One moment. I would like to open it slowly and carefully. You see in front of you a her, what almost looks like a horrendously large pool of blood and a knocked over rack with what you can see as a crushed corpse beneath it. Okay. <laughs> uh, I would like to investigate the room. You may. What the hell happened here? It's a 15. Ollie. 
I'll leave you to look around a bit while I run through everybody else here. Xanathia, okay. what you doing? Just chilling with the ravens. Derek, what you doing? Uh, I'm gonna take the broken stick back and go towards the wagon. All right. Do you have the stick? You don't know you that. You exactly. You Why is no one telling me anything? <laughs> you didn't ask. Ha, oh, no. sure. Hello, Mr. Ghost. <laughs> How is the stick doing? <laughs> Oh, you are behind Hello? me. I'm sorry. I did not see you. Oh, you are not there. Hello, ghost. You're going to you're gonna have to talk to Derek like you do to a god and just hope they're listening. <laughs> yeah. Did you say I mentioned to the family that they were poisoning their wine? Yes. Okay. They have essentially dumped out the vats. They'll have to restart. But that's more than fine in having their home back. Uh, what about, uh, the, uh, transportation of the pickup that, Oof, um, what's it? The, uh, three kegs that are sitting inside the carriage oh. will more than likely be the ones you can take to Krez to be allowed in. Alright, I'm gonna go over and talk to them if he's not oh. sleeping. He is currently... The children have been put to sleep in their rooms. I don't have fucking photos for him because it's still don't worry about it <laughs> but everyone else besides davian are resting or just resting and relaxing in their own home happy to be back hello damien davian what does this say sorry this ain't, this ain't batman son <laughs> hey davian uh we came from crows for a pickup as well would that happen to be the stable, the, the, the stable, the, uh, wagon outside? Davian is more than happy to set his sons to task immediately. Thank you. Adrian you and Elver are already starting to load up the wagon and secure the horses. All right. Thank you. I hope you have a good night. He asks you to uh, go along with the wine wagon to ensure it's safe arrival. Just All to right. be safe. I will board the wine wagon. Ooh. You're making okay. a caravan. Say, you guys still have the uh, tree to deal with. I'm still looking, okay? Don't, don't rush me. I feel like All this is found, a corpse. All you found down there were uh, slivers of the Gothia staff. Wherever it was before, it's been taken. Oh. Okay. Uh, I would like to take uh, the small pieces of the what, what's left. Everything. All right. Uh, so. That's soaked in wine and blood. Inventory. Uh, loot bag. Ads. Uh, custom item. Uh, Ooh. I'm glad that worked though, because I had a feeling Garrett was going to be in a world of hurt if he didn't get that staff broken. <laughs> you do not know how much shit I had off screen that you guys can't see, just ready to wreck you. All it would have taken is one fuck up. Good thing I pray to Sylvanus for your success. It's a good oh. thing your uh, your rogue is sneaky as shit. <laughs> yes. Pieces of big bad stuff. And okay. Thankfully, most uh, most of the roots. Now I would like oh. to take the corpse with me. You see? Let's say the corpse is completely necklace. smashed. There's nothing. Not a problem. I'll take it anyway. You're essentially going to be taking a pile of meat with you. Yeah. Ah, so much work. God damn it. Sure. Because you got to remember, this is somebody who not only had a very tall wooden shelf dropped on them, but several glass bottles break over their body. They're hamburger. Yeah, okay, hamburger. I may need some There's help. Lots of them, and I don't think you want to bring hamburger. Especially when there's someone who eats 
that. Stuff. I mean, yeah. I would be, like ooh, to have some people help me too. get out the pieces of the corpse outside. Yeah, on your own. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Being a that clever is hard go work. With, uh, make sure this catch is going to get to where it needs to go. So you're essentially going to travel with them then? Yes. Okay. And she'll wait until the rest. Because unless, you know, Daisy uh, uh, figures out where this tree is. Is that the brain or is that the liver? I'm not sure. Oh, please just. <laughs> <laughs> you can't tell. <laughs> not anymore. I'll just call it Squishy Druid. Oh, yeah, just before just I forget, good. Xenophia. Yes. Davian told you that there's three magic seeds that the vineyard used in order to basically boost their growth and make more alcohol. He knows that one went to Berez and one went to Yesterhill. He, however, does not know what happened to the third one. Okay. So it's a seed. Okay. Are the joint clothes worth taking? No. Uh, no. no. They're worth using as a sack for the hamburger meat that there are now. That's about it. Yeah, uh, it's it's worthless. Okay. Uh, what do we have here? Oh, uh, I will set the the the, the t -t broken stick inside the Brian slash carriage. What was that? I will set the pieces of broken stick up inside his little shrine slash carriage. Alrighty. And I will mention to Valis he should probably go with Xenophia. Can and I pencil Raven? Wait for EL. Well, hello there, Valis. And what is it, Ravale? Can I pencil Raven? Give me an animal, ha animal handling. I think that's actually the same thing that uh, Zeta Zeta Rose, Rose. Yeah. <laughs> Wow the Crow just looks at you and just shuffles on the rafter and keeps staring at you Okay, have a good day understandable <laughs> <coughs> Can I take a look inside the barrel? You can take a look at the barrels Okay, what do I see? Well, if you wanted to look inside the barrels, you'd have to break them open. Uh, 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 oh, look, another corpse. Two corpses. What's inside? Oh, it's Nothing. two corpses? Nothing. Okay. Wait, that's not the exit. Well, you are outside, so it is an exit. Did I find <laughs> the toilet? Yes, you found the outhouse. Can I open it? You wish to open it. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, it's As just you do special. open it. There is. It's actually fairly nice. There's some sweet smelling herbs hanging from the eaves of this little outhouse, which has a small crescent moon carved into the door. You're very oh. lucky there. Okay. You're very lucky. <laughs> I'm not going to explore the toilet. It's just a toilet. I don't want to know if there's no, gold you, you, inside. You, no, you have no idea. You I'm sure? Not. It might be like Fallout and there's something in the toilet. Outhouse is not known yeah. to be all that great smelling. If you find something chunky, go ahead, grab it. <laughs> Can I 
roll for arcane for the toilet? There is nothing magical about the toilet. Okay, never mind. The giant poo from Conkers is not going to come up and start singing for you. I assure you of that. Oh my god! Not the <laughs> poo! Not the Please. poo! I am the great giant <laughs> poo! Oh my god! Am I going to throw my shit on you? <laughs> oh <my laughs> Alrighty, what yeah, you doing? It's hard to believe people a... freaked out over the, uh, what was it, the, what was it, sunflower or dandelion? When they had things like that in there. Sunflower. I think it was a sunflower. Yeah. Is the that's just the well. Is it poisoned? Nope. It still looks clear. Okay. It's not poisoned, you say? I mean, if you have a way to purify poison, I'm sure the family would appreciate it if you could do something about their vats. Yep, otherwise they're going to have to dump them. Oh, hi! I'll be with you in a moment, I haven't found the stick. No, you're Have you seen the, the stick? No, you might want to talk to the scout about that, like I've told you. Where is he? When did you tell me? Before okay, where is he? The first time. I don't know. Oh. Oh I think Bala said Ballas he was Ballas. back at the uh, carriage. Okay, yes. What the? Uh, what is your pur purify food and drink thing? Uh, my purify food and drink thing is uh, not prepared. A moment, where is it? Uh, it create, pure, detect, 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 guiding, healing, protect, protection, purify. Uh, wait, is that a ritual? Check. Uh, purify. Oh my gosh, I could actually have taken her spell. <laughs> oh, it is a ritual. Hmm, I could save some uh, some money and work, I guess. Uh, okay, where is where is uh what's his name? Where is Davian? I got the deal for him. Also, I just should probably. Just purify it. Just okay. it. Just go ahead. Uh, that will take how long? Ten minutes, I think. Ten yep. minutes? Twenty minutes. Okay. Yeah. I would like to purify uh, the food and drink uh, as a ritual to save the spell slot. Not these. These are fine. Ah, so? Okay. It was in the, it was the vats, right? Pharaoh? Yep. It was the vats, not the uh Uh which these one? were fine. Okay. Uh, I Those? Think if, he... if you see David, tell him I need to talk to him. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> tap 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 tap. Uh, okay. Well, Alla mei, 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 yeah, it's one hour. I'll be stuck here for one hour. Oh, me no, let me ah, salam alaikum, come in, you do la la, you do. Oh, shame and shame and shame and shame and la la la, shula la la. Can we expedite this? La 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 la, la 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 la, be purified and tasty and healthy, you too. Silvanus is blessing. Uh, and you are empty. Was that it? Tap 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 tap. That was it. Okay, one moment. Tap 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 tap. Are those empty? Yep, those are all empty barrels. Hello, Raven. Okay, okay. One hour later. 
Where is the carriage? Right, the carriage. Hello, horse. Okay. Can I pet the horsey? I would not. I have a 20. Okay, Bob. <laughs> the horse is happy to be petted. Yay! Hi. Pet, pet. Uh -huh. Can I see David? I mean, that's up to him, not me. I may be gone, but I don't have rules over that. David, can I see you? Oh, probably. Since <laughs> I'm sitting here whittling away at uh, probably a bone, waiting for I you. have a twenty. Does it? Is it enough? I mean, if you want me to go stealthy, I can. No, I have to yeah, talk to you. Give us a stealth roll anyway. Damn it. Okay. I know you are somewhere here around the carriage. Hello, horses. Hello, Tom. Hello, Emiro. Hello. Ah. Birds. <laughs> God damn it. Damn it, where are you? Either you I talk to pieces. you or God. You do see the pieces of the staff laying in front of your little uh, altar in your carriage. Oh, thanks, God. I'll... <laughs> uh, is that it? Is that the big bad fui fui? You, your god doesn't directly speak to you, but you get the feeling that this is indeed the staff that you are sent to destroy. Okay. He's very happy that you managed to do so, even if it wasn't by your hand. It's not he destroyed yet, with it's your just broke. <laughs> okay, I'll yeah. take the rest pieces. Okay, now. God has questions to the druids. I would like to try and do a ritual to bind the spirit of, of the druid to his uh, squishy body. And That's... do a ritual to send him to Sylvanus. That would be, be honest, it sounds like necromancy. <laughs> I'm not going like to revive him, I just want to bind his spirit so that Sylvanus can take care of him. Sylvanas is already taking care of him. He's dead. Yeah, <laughs> his body is you destroyed. Just, okay. He, as soon as the dude Druid died, Sylvanas probably grabs his soul. It's like, you're mine. I guess there's okay. a spirit wolf that is playing tug of war with his spirit right now. Okay. Because what you can do with the ritual idea that you had was okay. use that remaining of the staff as a yes. focus to try and find where the original tree is. Yes. Uh, establish it. Try and establish a connection to its uh, original source of power. All right, give me an arcana, a religion, and a nature check. Okay, I would like to sit inside the carriage and meditate. Okay. Arcana. A 10. It's a you will 12. have a base modifier to these, which I'll determine here. Rue. Yeah, your god's definitely helping you on this one. Jesus. <laughs> Yeah, of course he is. Why wouldn't he? And your nature check? Uh, nature. I'm sitting inside the carriage like Geralt in the uh, main menu. Okay, we... <laughs> it's a 10. Uh, Alrighty. Let's see, I will attempt to assist him with the nature. And we'll go to Would you like this. to meditate with me? Oh, thank you. You can tell that the tree itself is in this direction to where this hill is. It's Down not that far away. Southwest. Okay. That would be where it is, from what you can tell using this ritual and the pieces of the staff as a foci. Uh, was the religion check enough from earlier? All thank your you. checks passed. Okay. Oh, thank Especially you. Especially with uh, Derek's help. So thank you. We're going... I got an arcane connection, I think. It's, I feel like we're it's somewhere go... south. We're going to go ahead and go start heading towards... Uh... Oh, uh, does Davian nothing have uh, to say? I would yes. like to tell Davian that I purified his work. All he of it. He is immensely happy with you. You're welcome. Uh, da, 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 if you need something, uh, pray to uh, Sylvanus. If, if we pass the, uh, we pass the uh, our carriage, I want to say as we go, wait here. We'll, we'll I'll be back. 
or unless you want to follow. Ah, uh, we should not split up. I mean, the, mm, I, but the I tree has priority. Us. Follow it behind us, then. Okay. So. Let me take a look at the map. When you guys are ready, she's like, when you guys are ready, we can go. Uh, how was that? Uh, two point four. That's three point four. Uh, five. That's six hours. Uh, okay. We should not split up. Also, uh, while we are sitting inside the car, ah, damn, Venom is on the other carriage. That's slice, sneaky dude. <laughs> you don't know why he's on the other carriage either, though. Anyway, uh -oh. I'm talking with David then. Uh, okay. Where? Where? David, are you here? Eric's doing his duty as being a scout. <laughs> he's doing his job. Inside the carriage? He's a good job. No, he'd most likely be ahead. Keeping an eye out for any ambushes. Oh, so yeah, right. Hmm. We are not driving fast. We are just... Uh-oh. Okay. Something going on with D&D. &D. Uh, map change, maybe? Give me just a sec here. Okay. Um. Because... D and D Beyond just shut out on me, so I don't have access to. Oh, oh there we go. Say so okay. I don't have access to my notes and everything. <laughs> there we go. Jeez. All right. Ah, uh, I'm all by myself here. That's. Uh, do you want me to control? I care uh, the cage I'm on. Okay. Oh, I, well, since. I digged the holes for nothing. Uh, but Jerry, whatever. Work ahead. out. Yeah. Work Give out. me a survival check. Nine. Give me a dexterity saving throw. Uh-oh. Nineteen. Hey. As you walk along the path, your foot manages to hit something metallic and you hear a click. <gasps> your brain immediately recognizes that this is an issue. And before you can even think, your body reacts and pulls you away from it. A hunting trap bursts from the leaves that you just stepped on and snaps shut, barely missing your leg. Alright, so... Shouldn't be stopping. <laughs> we have somebody setting traps up behind us. Alright, so... Anybody nearby? Give me a perception check. Twenty-seven. There is no one around. Okay, I will look for more traps. Eighteen. You see nothing. Okay, no tracks around it? Nope. Okay. No. Oh. Pick up the trap and take it. Alright. Add a hunting trap to your inventory. Yep, yeah, let's see. Would you like me to do a gentle breeze to Low evasive. With my Toolcraft and to? Sensory Effect. I, 
I, I'm talking to David. But I guess it's fine. Oh, well, look, the tower. Give me another perception check. Whoever it is that's in front. One of these three. You hear a lovely melody coming from the side of the road. <laughs> Are you going towards the noise? Yep. I'm going to investigate it. Give me an investigation check then. It's a hitchhiker. <laughs> My job is to get this. What is siren on land? You find a small locked box that's halfway sh buried underneath some tree roots that's apparently locked with no actual mechanism that you can see, but it's humming a lovely melody. Need a shower? We can't hey. move until these men be behind. Wait. They okay. can easily pull it out. Uh, that's... Wait, A humming is... box with no apparent lock Wait. on it. Uh, is detect magic... And it's magic. not a mimic? A not from what you can see. I guess I'll detect pick it up. Magic. You have a humming box. <gasps> Wait, uh, I can do a yeah, ritual do with detect magic. Give me an Arcana check. Me? Yes. Oh. <laughs> uh, it's a seven. Yeah, either one of you could. Uh, Twenty-three. For Raleigh, you sense nothing magical. Derrit, you sense nothing magical. Okay, next on the list. You gonna keep going? Back. One moment. Uh, what's this concentration? Ah. Oh, to take poison and disease is also a ritual uh, spell if you would like. So you just picked up a nothing singing. Nothing obvious on the box that would lead to a way to open it? Or nothing? Or a secret? Not immediately. So it's just okay. a singing box? Can I, uh, can I carrot squeeze by this other one? You're both following each other on the road. You can't really squeeze past each other. That wasn't here before. I'll just sit inside a yellow carriage and then make my way forward some more. Do I know that? You're going to hear it. I mean, I, I don't know. You're stealthy, maybe. <laughs> It's still here. I mean, come on, is singing? Your Chess. carriage would pull off the side here. And the. Oh, I almost forgot to make theirs. <laughs> yeah, because I had to use my character mix. <laughs> uh, I'm going to get off the uh, drop toss carriage as soon as we pull up. The guards are overjoyed, as well as the Burgermaster, to finally get their alcohol. Yay, party. You are oh. able to enter Krisk, if you like. We probably should collect supplies before we head out back. I mean... We have to deal with the tree. We also need supplies. Okay, I also need to talk to you guys. How long are we staying? We're grabbing supplies and probably making our way back to that tree. Okay, good. Uh, what time is it? It's getting to be about night time. <sighs> ah, damn it, night time. We shouldn't Don't be worry, outside at night. Don't worry about until uh, next night. <laughs> we shouldn't be outside at night. Let's go in, then. Okay. 
Uh, Valos, my little friend, and people of my party. Uh, uh while I was digging, uh, we should be in a place. Yes, let's go inside. <laughs> Hello, people. <laughs> Silvanus is Where's pressing the people in or the uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I have to talk right with here you. Where the carriage is. Yeah. Right. People, while I was digging, uh, I took a moment inside the carriage to meditate and uh, talk with Silvanus in short. Uh, I asked about the revenants. Apparently, he was not after one of our party. So I take it with a it. Uh, it means that he was not after anyone that was there at the moment. Um, second. That's good. Yeah, but now we don't know where the revenant might be. I think it was just a co coincidence that we bumped into each other. He walking out of the water, we on his way. Uh, now we don't know where he is. That's, I think, a problem because I would like to deal with him too, as a medium between life no, and death. You are the ones that decided to run away. <laughs> I did not, by the way. <laughs> but yes, David. Um, seconds? Why the hell is Silvanus telling me that Kari is on the run? <laughs> Why? Kari, Kari on the run. <laughs> Why what? is Kari oh, on <laughs> the run? And do not tell me, don't worry about it, Valus. <laughs> I'm not playing around. What happened? Don't worry Why about is it. Why? Do not come with me with that damn <clears throat> Valus. What happened? Where is she? Why is she, she on I'm the gonna, run? I'm going to look at you. Is this really the time you want to do this? It is time to rest for now. Yeah. We can worry about Kari later. We have other pressing matters to attend to. I have to sadly agree with you. We will deal with Kari later. I go up to the innkeeper. If something happens to her because of your irresponsibility, how much for a room for the night? The ten silver. Huh? For all of ya. Ten silver for all of ya. Ten silver? Alright. Well, okay. I guess I can keep my lightsaber turned off. I'm looking at you, damn venom. I want to go. I'm going to drop one gold and turn that into a hundred silver. <laughs> Actually, silver. 90 silver because I'm going to. Oh, wait. Is there a graveyard here? Because I used 10 of that silver. I broke a gold yeah. piece for silver. A funny thing about Kresk is that every building has a cemetery for their family. Uh, is there a free cemetery for outside people? Uh, not really. I got a uh, damage. Oh no! Bury him outside. Go bury him outside oh. of this place. There I can take care of that body. <laughs> I'll give it to the resident uh, carnivore. Honestly. He in God's eyes, he, he or she, I don't know, I couldn't tell, uh, kind of deserves it. Uh, here you have uh, one whole menu of uh, Escorchy Druids. Enjoy, I guess. And it's also drenched with wine, so... <laughs> Where is my... It's marinated. Here. It's marinated in wine, so it's a wine marination. Oh, so nice. 
Okay, yeah, there it here you go. One squishy, big, bad, evil, full, full staff droid. Keep the clothes. <laughs> Get stuck in his teeth. Okay, then delete that. And since I know more or less where the tree is, uh, I need to fulfill my mission and uh, I need to destroy this death now. I would like to go into the carriage and start the ritual. Okay, what are you going to be doing the ritual for? Uh, I would like to do the ritual for uh, divinely destroying the staff with, with Sylvanus' uh, help, I guess. No. It should be... What exactly are you expecting? Uh, I'm expecting the staff to uh, basically with question i mean it is kind of a divine yes. intervention but i what i'm going to is isn't, uh isn't the staff technically isn't the power of the staff technically destroyed it is no mercy uh i would like <laughs> in other words so you uh, just, i would throw it in the fire if it did that radiant fire <laughs> no it must be holy fire i would like to finger snap the staff so to say and make it poof. Okay. Don't hit it. And well, you can't hit it with sacred fire because it's an object. Um, I don't know what you could do. Can Unless I? you want to use guiding bolt on it. I would like to roll for a lich. <laughs> and let Sylvanus do the <laughs> Go ahead. Okay. One moment. I have advantage. I take the 17. Sylvanus, do your thing. And the staff is simply gone after you say this. Oh, nice! It did the Spider Man. <laughs> so so now the staff is destroyed. So right? Who said that? <laughs> But yes, the staff is gone, gone. Yes. Perfect. Mission succeeded. Okay. Uh, now the tree. We succeeded. We still have to deal with the tree. <laughs> How much X? Oh, God. How much XP did we get from what debt did? Yes. How much for succeeding as the mission? Perfectly. If I may say so. There it. GG. I mean, you haven't succeeded yet. The tree is still there. Yeah. It's a tree, but the winery is uh, done. It's safer. It still needs the seeds back as well as those druids dealt with. Ah, ah, it's part okay. of the mission. Okay, okay. Uh, yeah, I guess we Time are for taking long a rest. Get some sleep. Okay, yep. good. Uh, before I forget. Da, 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 da. You need our rolls. Don't you? Nope, not that. Not yet, anyway. I'll ask for those in a second, don't worry. <laughs> uh, da -da -da -da. You all get... 2,000 XP each. Wow! Uh, As for clearing out the entire winery silently and deadly. Good job, Derek. Nice. Yeah, GG, Derek. The Uber fart. Silent but deadly. Yes. Can I try for another guidance for the uh, queen? Uh, to the uh, queen? Uh, to the Raven Queen? You may. Wow, that's All a lot right. of XP. That's 11. That'd be a pass. Yeah. Good 
you like some help? <laughs> that's a help to God that's not your own. That's not the problem. I'm helping you, not me. I mean, as long as your God doesn't interfere with nature in any way, I don't have beef with you. Mine deals with probably the undead. In what way? She doesn't like them. <laughs> well, that's fine by me and Sylvanus, I guess. Basically, she does not like the undead. She thinks they're basically an abomination. A bit harsh, but okay. I can do this. Is a, uh, uh, what I mean is an unnatural pr process of life. If it's a proper resurrection, as she stated, it's okay. If it's yes. an improper resurrection, that is fucked up. That is yeah. fucked up, and she hates it. And she wants it done and dealt with as with the necromancer that throws the thing. Yeah, that is not cool to do. So. <laughs> oh, Xenophia, I haven't told you yet. Uh, uh, exactly what you said. She's in the middle of a prayer. Oh, I'm okay. Okay. I was going so, to it was share pass, my knowledge so. about resurrection, mm -hmm. good, bad, and false resurrection, and animation of dead body parts, but okay. <laughs> It's a difference between that. undead uh, and constructs. You two are doing that real quick. Derek, are you in the tavern? Uh, well, if uh, Xanophy is setting up room for us, may as well. I'm assuming you're going to hang around, get a drink, then go to bed. Yeah, most likely. I, you I get the uh, following bits of local lore. The residents never leave the village for fear of being attacked by wolves, dire wolves, or werewolves. Ooh. About once a month, and thanks to you, a wagon load of wine arrives from the Wizard of Wines. Burgomaster Kreskov, the man who let you in, recently lost his 14-year-old son, Ilya, to illness. And there is a pool at the north end of the village that provides fresh water throughout the year. There is... A shrine to the Morning Lord in a gazebo there, known as the Shrine of the White Sun. The Abbey of St. Markovia is named after a priest of the Morning Lord who took a stand against Strahd himself. However, after a fierce uprising, Markovia and her most fo loyal followers stormed the castle, only to be destroyed. Afterwards, the Abbey, which was once a hospital and a convent, fell on hard times after the land was swallowed up by mists. Most of the clergy fell prey to Strahd, went mad, or starved to death, or turned to cannibalism. The new head of the abbey, simply called the Abbot, arrived over a century ago and hasn't aged a day since. He occasionally visits the Shrine of the White Sun, doesn't talk much though, and demands tribute in the form of wine. No one knows his true name or where he's from, and many believe he's Strahd's servant or the vampire himself in disguise. Due to this, no one from the village visits the abbey anymore. The bell in the abbey rings at odd times day and night, and the place is filled with baleful screams and horrible and human laughter that can be heard all the way down in the village. I was just going to check on our people. <laughs> Interesting. Well, where are our people, by the way? They're in the uh, tavern. Oh, oh, there we go. I mean, the children and uh, Pyotr and uh, Slivanka. Give me a charisma check. I? Yes. Uh, You're asking people where they're at. Uh, and you'll have advantage. Because you did help bring back their alcohol. Oh, okay. A 15? Hey, 14. Hey, not bad. You know that the Burgermaster himself 
has actually adopted the two children. While oh. he may have lost his own son, he sees no reason to allow any more children to suffer as his own son did, or oh. his other children. I think he's However, okay. However, there is a strange tale going about, about the young woman that you brought in. She has apparently been pulled into the pool at the north side of the village. What? However, when the villager in question went to check, there was no one under the water, and he could almost swear that a hand was reaching out of the water towards her. What? Her brother is understandably a little distraught, but with no new news of his sister, he can do nothing but wait in the town. Where? Give me one sec. Well, that escalated quickly. <laughs> ah, I guess nothing is that easy. Give me one sec here. I gotta yeah, don't get worry. his name. So I have actually forgotten his name <laughs> because we haven't talked about him for a hot second. Sergey. You mean? Iriana. Oh, uh, no, no. Ismark, That's there right. it is. Ismark. Ah, Ismark, is that guy, yeah. Ismark himself is actually in this house here, which is essentially a little guardhouse. He's at least making himself useful as he tries to track down some info on his sister. Ah, uh, okay. Anything else to say about that? What happened? Nope, that's all everybody knows. Ah. Oh. God, uh, I have to go. <laughs> knock, 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 we have more pressing issues currently to attend to. Ooh, where am I? What? No, what did you do? What happened? Where am I? Why am I? Who am Quick I? Quick save got reloaded. You're back here. <laughs> really? We are not going I to check? I am actually going to make you rest because it is completely pitch dark out right now. Why do you think I activated my light, uh, my, my nature glow? Alright, take yes. your long rest. It'll be morning. About the, uh, my religion check. Okay, but only the DM says so. Uh, your religion check did pass. I'll go ahead and count that as one. So I'll start working on that. Then I would like to do my woodworking check. Okay. Oh yeah, and I will do my perception check then. So, Derek, you were doing Dungeon Delver, so I'll need an intellect check from you if you're going to work on that. 17. That is a pass. He'll do his... Uh, Dexterity. Dexterity. For your word working. Okay. Ah, 11. Good. And, and uh, your intelligence. No, that'll uh, work. Oh. And perception for a lot. Ah, uh, yeah. That was, why did I have that written down? As intelligence. It's, uh, it's perception. <laughs> and uh. that's 22. So I need one more of those. Da, 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 da. One moment. Uh, da 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 And give me one final d20 roll. Oh god. 
Okay. That's a 12. And my pick low or high? Uh, high. Are you gambling? Congratulations. If you picked the number that I had, you would have lost that roll. <laughs> Go ahead and check your feats. Say, would you prefer that one or the old one? The old one. If okay. Anything. Uh, hmm. Do I have to reroll a uh, real reload? Probably. Probably. There it is. There's the old one. There you go. I have to reload that one again because you just did it after my reload. Reload your reload. I reloaded it. I ah. said reload the reload. Keep reload. I did. I, I see my initiative <laughs> go up by five, so I now know I have it. Yep. Because your last rolls will always be against me. Yes. That goes for everybody. That's how we've been kind of doing it. I roll a number, I roll another number, and then I ask you to go high or low. Now, I have a question. Um, since I am a elf, and I go into a trance, and my trance technically says I am conscious, does that mean my Yolet will still activate when I go into my trance? Yes. Okay. That's what I wanted to ask. So basically, Ooh. I cannot be surprised. Yep. At all. Yep. Well. Well, well, I might. Well, as long as I'm not incapacitated. Yep. If I'm incapacitated, I can understand. I, I'm out of it. I'm, but as long as I'm not incapacitated, I Is, can't be there surprised. There are ways to force you to sleep. Yep. Uh, not if it's magical sleep, and I walk on me. magic. I know about L's uh, immunity to magical sleep. That doesn't affect poisons. Yeah, true. I mean, if you need, if you want to sleep, I can help you with that. <laughs> yeah, she prefers a <laughs> trance. Hi. You seem happy with yourself, don't you? Alright, now let's long rest. Yep. Yep. Okay. Alright. Alrighty. You have all long rested. And... Uh, You're fine. Uh, four. Yeah, you're fine. So, uh... Hi. My... What? Okay, is good time? morning, Vietnam. What's what do that? I do with the book after, it's done, after I'm done with it? Does it just stay in my inventory? You've finished reading it? I've been reading it every time we uh, after the long rest of the thing. I believe I should be. If not, I have a, just about a few hours in. Have you added in the bonus it gives you? Um, it's already in. I have a pl 18 on my uh, charisma. Hey, hey, hey. Alrighty. What hit? What the? Uh, are you it will stay in your inventory. It's just recharging for the next hundred years. Oh, it's 
Oh, yeah, so okay. Like it's plus two. Take okay. the nest. Boom. Everything should be in the food. Yes. So it's just gonna stay in my thing. Yep. So, uh, good morning, I guess. I would like to morning. do a morning prayer for everyone. Everyone. And okay. Piotr and Silianka. And you the children. You may go ahead and do that as well. Uh, for that, okay. I think I'm even going to go I'm to I'm going to go ahead and pray as well. Okay. So, I'm going to go ahead and do my religion. Go ahead, you do your religion check first. Yes. One moment, I have advantage. I'll take the 18. With your 18, you're doing all right for the day. Your God's real happy with you. Yes, uh, today, mission, I know God. Uh, the destruction of the tree, I know roughly where it is. You probably too. Okay. My turn. And that is a spot. Would you like some help? Yeah. Huh? And say so he does have an entire chapel. You can use it as well as all the tools. So uh, if you want to take advantage on that. Advantage in. Would you like some help? So do I. What was that again, Ravalis? Would you Not like Ravalis, some uh, help? Pero. So. I meant Pero. Uh, okay. Sorry. What was that again, Pero? Essentially put, since Ravale is actually an ordained priest by his own god now and has a miniature church that would give you advantage plus a modifier. Alright, I'll take advantage of that then. I am a missionary of Sylvanus. Yes. Yes. So I'll still get advantage even to my own. It's still a church. Okay. And Sylvanas, uh, Sylvanas ain't a jealous picky god. Uh, oh uh, no. I'll roll one more time then. Sylvanas <laughs> has much more important uh, things to do. That is a 14. That is enough to gain you attention. Yay. <laughs> Yay. Yay, congratulations, Xenafia. Now, I would like to check uh, the nests after I tended the horses. So I have the attention of the Raven Queen. Uh huh. Destroy a tree. Yes. You have your mommy's attention. Good job. Yes, I have my mommy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean, she's basically. Okay. My 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 uh, race is mommy in a way. I'm gonna say this here now though. If you start any prayers, because I'm the one that's gonna have to answer them. If you start any prayers with mommy, I'm gonna hurt I'm, you. I'm not. I'm not. Lightning <laughs> strike. No. Okay. She she's a little more oh, respectful mommy. than that. I would she's like. Not gonna say mommy. She's gonna say. I would like to roll for. Queen. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead. Sorry. I would like to roll for animal handling for the horses and take a look at the bird nests. I'm curious. Go ahead. Hello, Emiro. Hello, Tom. How did you sleep? How did you like the good berries? They did pretty good. They're okay. pretty happy. What's uh, uh, on top of the carriage? The three bird nests, there is... Roll me a d12. A d12. Okay, one, two, six, eight, one hundred, ten, twelve. Have I ever rolled a d12? Uh, it's a one. There is... A singular egg in one of the nests. <gasps> I would like to bless the egg. It's already blessed. <gasps> okay, now it's Mark. Uh, 
He is not actually in. God damn it. You know that's where he's staying, but it is the guardhouse. Uh, so, as far as you know, he is... Probably the gates. Probably patrolling <laughs> the walls. Okay. So, no. Uh, <laughs> Do you know where Piotr is? No, they don't know where Piotr is. God damn it. Uh, the lake. <laughs> You know do I see him running by? You do. You see a very, very <laughs> heavily armored priest running like his life depends on stomp, it. Stomp, 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 stomp. Where's you the see shop? Would be any one of the buildings, really, if you wanted to pick. We'll go with this one here with the purple X. I'm gonna go to the store. <laughs> Did, right. the, did David tell us about what he yeah, heard yeah, about the... Uh... Okay, go ahead. Did David tell us about the stories about the Abbot? Uh, Abby? Uh -huh. yeah. Since you two are busy, I'd probably have shared them with Valus. But you two have been busy. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I was outside at the moment. I mean, you didn't give him enough time, so... Yeah. You all went, did your, uh, you and Xenophir were doing your things. Now you went ahead and ran off. I'm so the only one to share it with is Valus. God damn it. So, and anything. Why did you do so yesterday? What you sent me is now added to my list of stuff. Shadow. What you sent me is now added to my collection. Oh, the, uh, yeah, I'll take that out. when I get to level three. Gotcha. All right. There, uh, what is it you're doing? Uh, do they have any kits per se? Like, uh, uh what you're looking for? A uh, cooks, cooks utensils, and smith tools. How much do those cost? Oh. Okay. Uh, right. let me see how much cooks. I mean, there does have a set of Smith's tools he doesn't use. <laughs> Cooks, that costs one gold. Cooks utensils. Yeah, they have them. All right. Are you hungry? What is that? Um, she's going to pick up a Cooks utensils. Um... Because since my character can... Oh, wait, since I long rested, I can switch whatever I want whenever I want. <laughs> yep. That's the thing. good thing about my elf character. I could switch my two uh, proficiencies. Garrett, if you wanted to, this place would have uh, items that would let you essentially get... Oops, walk back down here. A... If I can actually pay attention to what I'm looking at. A disguise and forgery kit. Do they also have a, uh... What? A, a, was it a sewing kit, or was it for clothing? Weaver's tools? Weaver's tools. They do. Let me see how much those are. A gold. A gold, okay. Uh, she's she's probably picking up most tools. Oh, so, right. and I mean, why not? She could. So she picks up those two. All right. I just noticed that my party members permanently see me running around the town. <laughs> Yes, they see you, for all intents and purposes, exercising early in the morning. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> Perfect. I need the constitution. Is uh, Piotr at the lake? Um, uh, what else do they Damn have? It. What is it you're looking for? Well, we don't, uh, let's see, what am I looking for? Uh, 
Do they have any shields? A shield? Any special shields, I should say. I mean. What kind of shield are you looking for? Enchanted shield. Nope, they'll have regular shields. Okay. Santa's just done. She's gonna go back. Alright. So, I did. Hmm. So, I can't. I come back in with my. Uh, thing. I can actually. Since I now have a kit, I can make. I can actually make shit now. Also, how much were you gonna make me buy the supplies too? Was that just wait a second? Uh, the townsfolk are normal people, yes, like ordinary plebs. Nothing special. As far as you know, I would like to cast detect magic as a ritual. On the lake. Go ahead. Okay, what do I roll? Detect magic would be Arcana. Uh, okay. Just look at a fifteen. Da, 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 da. Let me go here. I like your singing voice. It reminds me of Fallout for some reason. It's a radio, follow the radio. You see that the pool itself has otherworldly feel to it. Damn it. It seems like it goes to the realm of the dead. Damn it. As you do this, you remember something important. Give me an intelligence check. Let's see if you actually do. Was it about Vecna? No. And the undead? No? Okay. Intelligence, you say? Yes. Please. Yeah. No! Almost at 20! Oh my god. You realize that Arena has been pulled in by Sergei. Strahd's brother. You remember what? that souls do not essentially ascend after they die. They stay and are reincarnated from what you found out. Oh! Say that, dude! Irina is the reincarnated Tatiana. I knew the it! Woman, the woman that married... Sergey and that it. Strahd loved but drove to her death. I knew it. I thought she was a descendant or something. Why else would he be interested in her? I need you to make me a dexterity check. Ah, I'm next! Oh shit. Oh no, I have a mission to accomplish. Oh no. A 13. You are knocked 50 feet away and land oh. prone. As a peal of thunder shakes the land as you reveal this secret to the land of Barovia, its dark master notices this, enraged that his one true goal is now forever beyond his grasp. A deep, dark voice from the uh, beyond the mountains cries out, shaking them, that what was once his will be his no matter what. A terrible crack resounds throughout all the land as l blue lightning splits the sky and strikes the pool. I want to mention I did not say that out loud. Yeah, I don't think it matters. <laughs> the blessing on the pool now is destroyed. From what you can sense, it is now non-magical. And now, Tatiana or as you knew her, Irina, is forever beyond the grasp of Strahd. So she is forever safe. <laughs> well, that accidentally was a success. What can I say? 
Well, wish they accomplished. Hey, now the tree. Oh my god. Now, okay. Strahd blames you and your party for the loss of his loved one and will most likely retaliate. Shit. <laughs> How did he know? He's the Lord of Barovia. There's nothing that happens here without him knowing. Whoa, oh, come on. Why me? <laughs> what did I do? Okay. Uh, you killed the truth, apparently. Yeah. I am in danger. Well, I'm getting up. Uh, and I would like to <laughs> run back to my party. <laughs> what Ow. Do? What the f- <laughs> I Give me a constitution check. Who? Ravali. At twelve. He's the one running full melt and fucking full plate armor. I'm working out. Twelve. You are sweating and panting. I'm gonna grab him. I mean, time is key. <laughs> what? I'm gonna grab me out of What is that? <laughs> <laughs> what? 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 What is that? I have. Uh, I have good news, and I think I have bad news. Oh, I know what the bad news is. <laughs> we all heard it. Yes. You don't know what it means, though. The good news? Uh, the bad news? Damn, Venom, Sanafia, Derrit, come to me. Uh, I have to fright <laughs> this down. Uh, I'm taking a piece of paper. Uh, writing down what I think just happened and I'm showing it to you secretly and carefully only to you so that nothing else sees it and no one <clears throat> what that's the good news I think and the bad news is, I think he knows. Oh, eight. Yes, and I got almost struck by lightning, the spelling a blessing. Kinda <laughs> ironic if you think about it, I'm full in metal. Yes, uh, that's it. <laughs> now I would like to destroy the paper. Oh, boy. So, Derek, what do you think of this? And to make sure I would even eat it. Well, I think we better start working on wrapping up things we need to do, because I have a feeling it's going to get even more fun now. Yeah, so I guess mission accomplished. Now I need to find Piotr. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, where is the wall? Uh, you have no idea where he is. I know. Somewhere around the wall. Okay, give, hold on a sec here yes. while we run through everybody else. Okay. I was going to ask if uh, we should introduce ourselves to the Abbey or something. Alright, Derek, what are you going to do? Well, we need to... We need to make sure we gear up so we can head out to that hill as soon as possible because we still got to take care of those druids. I agree. We should head out as soon as possible. Oh. So while yeah. everyone's going to do, and can I, with the uh, cook's utensils, can I bake things or stuff? You could, yes. Can I, uh, bake some, uh, well, do like what Domino did, bake some treats? That would require the feet. You essentially could yeah. prepare food. Oh. 
Okay, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, what Domino, yeah, what Domino did involved. So I'm just going to prepare yeah. feet. Are you hungry? Yeah. I mean, we just woke up. I mean, I still have good berries from yesterday left. I want uh, something more substantial than a freaking uh, berry. But the good, good berry is perfect. Last 24 hours. Yes. If you prepared them after we did our last long rest, then they wouldn't be viable anymore. Exactly. I take it as a no. Yeah, those are no good. Okay. Um, should we go say hello to the Abbey? Maybe they know where Piotr is. Well, should, don't you want to finish the mission from Sylvanas as soon as possible? We can look we for... We need seven or eight hours to get there first of all. Uh, and yes. And more time? Yes, we got it. We're going to be spending a long time getting there. Yes. Oh, uh, let's finish everything here. Let's so, go. I vote. Let's go. So you're yeah. all deciding to go Ow. after the Abbey, essentially. I'm not going to Abbey no, now. I mean, I would Abbey. at least say hello, mm -hmm. I guess, and ask let's about Piotr. Right Why got not? The tree to deal with. We got the tree to deal with right now. But it's we? right there. I don't yes. care if it's right there. But we have more pressing matters than that at the moment. We're considering they will probably retaliate against the winery soon. Who? Yeah. You want oh, to yeah. Build the... Okay, school's the Abbey. Sylvanas want you to. Uh, I mean, I was thinking to, to say hello as a holy man, but okay. A bartender? If Piotr comes in here, uh, tell him that uh, we are looking for him and that we will return. Or Also, he shouldn't worry about his sister. Or Or was it his girlfriend? I forgot. Let's go. Sister. Sister. They right. don't know. Hi. So you're all heading to this tree. Yeah. Yes, we have to we destroy the tree. tree. David, uh, after mentioning the Abbey, are you going to fill me in about the rumors you heard? Uh, Did you know that he had rumors? No, but I'm just You're giving him a hint to tell me something, please. <laughs> I don't want to remember stuff I don't know. Please. I don't want to remember what I don't remember. I, I don't know, have. Like I, said, I don't want to have to Derek remember. The information with Valus. It's up to Valus to share it with anybody else. Oh, he heard it. Derek decides to go ahead. Okay. Apropos Valus. 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 What's inside okay. the book? Book. The book you found. What's inside the book? I still remember that I don't know what's inside the book, but I do know. But I have to pretend that I do not know. Please tell me. Uh, give me a charisma check to see if he tells you. Why? Why is he not well-minded with me? Oh, well, you two don't God. get along. Remember, you two don't like each other. Well, he doesn't he like doesn't you. He doesn't like... I am trying to keep him alive, but I guess I have to finally learn it and not interfere with his nat nature. But I'm right. trying my best to keep him alive nonetheless. Or maybe I should. Maybe I should let him die like a panda. <laughs> Don't firebolt me, please. You know what I mean. Upload oh, these. Thank you. Okay, we have the tree. We have Ismark. We have, uh, I mean, Piotr. Tree, Piotr, Kari, Revenant. Anyone telling me something about the Abbey? I don't know nothing about the Abbey. There with you. There it's scouting. Ah, no one is telling me anything. <laughs> all right, I'm going to plant you all here. But we are going to cut it off here because we've hit our three hour mark and you all Bye. need more bed. But we, all right. we switched the hour back. You did. Nine. Mm 
And let's see here. There we go. There's our measurement. Yeah. Oh, there. One square 50 feet. How big is this map? Very big. Oh, wow. Okay, remember, Il? You don't know about the Abbey rumors and you don't know what is written inside the book. <laughs> Alrighty, I will okay. shut down the map here. Well, that was a successful question. And session. Yeah. You yeah. all did really well. Good job to Derek for managing to solve that entire area. Um, yeah, yes. amazing. You soloed it. <laughs> now I have the attention of my queen. You're welcome. The queen. It's a queen. Yes. Big Massa is watching you. <laughs> Don't make it awkward. I didn't say Big Mummy is watching you, okay? Well, that was amazing. And yeah. amazing storytelling again. <laughs> Especially with the uh, uh, lake, what happened there. <laughs> <laughs> right, I didn't yeah. know I was going to trigger something said such majorly. But I was smart enough to try out the tech magic. Or maybe was it stupid? I, I don't know. You will oh, you find made out. Your decision, you uh, suffer your consequences. Oh, come on. <laughs> you don't get. Free I was trying out. to help <laughs> again. Uh, but anyway, amazing. <laughs> good job. But you all have yourselves a good night and good work today, and I will see you all in the next session. Hey, uh, yes. Dan. Yes. Since it, how long, how much longer do we have possibly in this? Because oh. I could try to look at possibly doing something else. Say it's, I will admit, Curse of Strahd is a fairly lengthy campaign, yeah. especially Roughly. since you are traveling all over the map. 28. Yeah, Fandelver was small compared to this. Yeah. Alrighty. Alright, you I'll all go to night. bed. Have a good night. Do you know the way? Some are even worse. My brother. <laughs> bye bye. Okay. Bye bye. Great Thank you for night. today and have a nice weekend and week. You too. Bye. Thank you. Goodbye. Well, ladies and gentlemen. <clears throat> well, I did something. First of all, uh, stick destroyed. Check. Uh, Revenant to deal with. Uh, Piotr talk with him. Uh, Kari on the run. I very dislike and disapprove of such uh, uh, this unresponsible handling of life as a nature guy. Uh, Abbey rumors, I don't know. What's written inside the book, I don't know. And, yeah, yeah, Chui, Piotr, Revenant, Kari, don't know Abbey, don't know book. That's it. Yeah. Anyway, uh, we will continue next week. We found the tree, actually. Um, that's amazing. And, um, yeah. Have a nice weekend, everyone. Until next week, and goodbye.
Should I do some shoutouts? I mean, that was the Dungeon Master. You know what? Why not? Uh, that was the Dungeon Master Paroquetet. Yes. Oh, hey, Hogwarts Legacy. Oh. That was. Oh, yellow brick. Er, yellow building trail. Yellow building trail. Yellow pocket. That was. Follow the goddamn Navi piss stream. There we go. The... God damn it. I can't talk. My brain is mush. Yes. And that is. Colin Clover. Four. I wasn't here today due to was, uh, not yes. being here today. That's loud. Why is he so loud? I hope you ca caught that painless. What happened? That's funny. <laughs> okay. I need to go bath. <laughs> go bath. I've been drinking Gatorade non-stop every two minutes. Ugh. Jesus it Christ. Didn't stop. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Go expel your excess liquid before you hurt yourself. Oh, test <laughs> I mean, this is like literally a half gallon and I've been drinking a <laughs> half gallon. A half it's gallon a nice of fucking Gatorade is wild. Half a gallon. <laughs> I Dang. mean, it's almost done. <laughs> I bet. Oh my it is. god, Colin! <laughs> Don't kill yourself. Oh, you need to chill, chill down. No. Uh... Yeah, that was the crew. Uh, goodbye, everyone, and uh, yeah, have a nice day. So, Svetlana is safe, or what her name was. I knew it. I, I knew it. I thought she was. So, something was with her. Why was Strat interested in her? I thought she was a descendant or something, you know. And that uh, his love was uh, her grand, 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 grandmother or something. Khan grandmother. Grand grandfather. Yes, grand grandmother. Yeah. Um, great, great, uh, whatever. Uh, yeah. More action tomorrow. I think now is the shit on the pooping and burning. Uh, yeah. And he still have hasn't played games with us. Yeah, should I have not dispelled the uh, dispelled uh, detected the magic? Because then Strat wouldn't have known, but she would have been safe anyway. Anyway, okay, goodbye, and um, yeah. Goodbye. Amazing, amazing session.